Obviously, we're here uh, to discuss this because of what happened to Eddie Garcia. Mm -hmm. This has really put uh, occupational safety in the, in the front lines. Uh, on the other hand, this proposed law also raises the question, bakit? Wala pa po ba tayong batas uh, to, to cover these things? Ano po ba ang, let's start with that. Ano po ba ang sitwasyon ngayon in terms of the workplace, but also in terms of uh, the rules and regulations governing workplaces right now? Well, uh, actually, meron na pong batas. In fact, it was signed by the President last year pa ho, no? uh, It's RA11058, or an act strengthening compliance with occupational safety standards mm. and providing penalties uh, thereof. Uh, ang implementing rules and regulations siya po ay uh, nailabas uh, noong December. It was published in the Philippine Star on January 9, and I, I believe it took effect uh, January 25 this year. So which would mean uh, workplaces, uh, covered workplaces, and that would include the uh, location shootings, uh, they would have to comply uh, with, the with the statements of the law and of course the implementing rules and regulations. So dun sa implementing rules and regulations, malinaw na nakasaad doon na dapat ang uh, isang workplace mayroong tinatawag na occupational safety and health program. In fact, among, among the first few things na dapat gawin ng isang workplace is to do a risk assessment mm. uh, by, by using hazard identification, risk assessment and control to determine uh, as to risk uh, where they are in the spectrum of risk, ito ba ay low, medium or high risk. Mm. Then uh, depending on the risk category, there are safety and health requirements. Mm. Okay. Among others is uh, the need for a safety officer. Mm. So nakalagay po doon sa IRR in a matrix, kapag ito ang risk category mo, ito ang, uh, ang uh, dami at quality ng safety officers mo. Mm. So bukod po sa programa at safety officer, meron din po ang tinatawag na ang kumpanya ay dapat merong occupational safety and health committee na kung saan ang chairperson ay yung may-ari or yung manager, then there is the safety officer who is the secretary. Then, of course, yung mga occupational health personnel are also automatic members. Mm -hmm. In fact, in, in, in the structure of the safety and health committee, eh, dapat merong workers' representative din. No? At uh, kung meron ka mga outsource, contractors, subcontractors, they, they should also be uh, part of, uh, okay. of the safety and health committee. So, but yung, yung batas po, this is, on the one hand, this is broad enough so mm -hmm. that uh, it applies to any industry or any sector. At the same time, it is specific enough that a, 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 a workplace knows specifically what to do. Exactly, exactly po. The, the application of the law and IRR uh, would, uh, I mean, it would be applicable to all workplaces. Mm. Okay, kaya nga, uh, given, as I mentioned earlier, after the analysis as to risk, then the, the workplace could, uh, could come up on the basis of the risk category with the responsive. Okay. So, quick, quick example lang po yeah. to see how this, uh, this will work. Doon mm. po sa nangyari po kay Eddie Garcia, ano pong mga konsepto ang nakapaloob na doon sa batas that comes into play in, in, in assessing uh, what happened at the workplace, at the, at the shooting uh, scene, at the taping scene doon sa kay Eddie Garcia? Okay. Uh, uh, sir, that is already the subject of uh, investigation by Dole. No? But of course, generally speaking, among others, uh, ang isang uh, programa which would really prevent a lot of accidents mm. is housekeeping. Mm. Uh, kaya yung mga tripping hazards na yan can be really solved by, by analyzing as to, as to good housekeeping, mm. uh, what should be present, mm. and then what should be out of the workplace, which uh, would uh, definitely cause uh, hazards and risks. So uh, there are basic programs uh, that should be in, in, in place. In fact, uh, it's the responsibility of the safety and health committee to develop to develop, uh, to implement, and to monitor responsive occupational safety and health programs.